This is not America I recognize, and it's got to stop. There's confusion being sown about how uh, election machines are used, how they fit into the process. Even, even now in Michigan right now with Antrim County, there was a, uh, a forensics audit done on uh, some of the machines there. And there was a group that released a report. And it, it's a 22 page report. I looked at it and I, others have looked at it. And, and to me, you know, it, it implies that those systems are compromised and not dependable and you can't trust the votes and any other of the machines across the state. I'm seeing these reports that are factually inaccurate continue to be promoted. I think it's, uh, again, an affront to democracy that the, the citizens of the United States of America that are responsible for executing this sacred democratic institution of elections are being threatened on a daily basis. I mean, you, you, you name it, whether it's emails, whether it's phone calls, whether it's people showing up at your house. I, this, just, I don't, this is not America I recognize, and it's got to stop. We need everyone across uh, uh, the, you know, the leadership ranks to stand up. I, I think I, you know, I would appreciate more support from my own party, Repu the Republican Party, to call this stuff out and end it. We got to move on. We have a president-elect in uh, President-elect Biden. We have to move on. These officials that are Republicans, look at Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, Gabriel Sterling, uh, Jeff Duncan. I, these are Republicans that are putting country over party. They're being subjected to just horrific threats as a result. This is not America. So I think generally from a timing perspective, particularly with the seating of the Electoral College and 306 electoral votes for President-elect Biden, you know, I think we're past the point where we need to be having conversations about the outcome of this election. I think that continued assaults on democracy and the outcome of this election that only serves to undermine confidence in the process is ultimately, as, as you both have said, you know, ultimately corrosive to the institutions that support elections. And going forward, it will be that much harder. The, the trick about elections is that, you know, you're not so much trying to convince the winner they won, it's the loser that they lost. And you need willing participants on both sides. And I think we've got to get back to that point. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have a very difficult time going forward, maintaining confidence in this American experiment. All right, pop quiz. Do you know which countries have the highest carbon emissions or how long it took Mariah Carey and her producer to write All I Want for Christmas? If not, then you should definitely subscribe to Now This Is First newsletter. Know this. You can sign up right here at the website below. Hey, I'm Zinclair Samoa, host of Know This, a daily evening news show on Now This News, and we're bringing you a Know This newsletter. Every day, our editors break down the top five stories so you are always in the know. Each night, you can get the biggest breaking news, politics, culture, and entertainment stories straight to your inbox. Find out why stories trending online are generating so much buzz, and wind down your day with the stories that matter to you. What's more, Know This gives you a special edge, including the little-known facts from each story that you need to know. We'll give you context on why new policies and innovations matter, but don't worry, we keep it fun too. There are gifts, puns, and plenty of lighter stories to give you talking points at dinner tonight. So sign up now right here at the website below. If you like what you read, forward our newsletter to your friends. You can also watch our show Know This on Facebook Watch. Search Now This Daily on Facebook and look out for the Know This series playlist to check out all the video episodes you may have missed. You can also find us on Now This News Instagram stories so you can get caught up on all the news you need to know. See you in your inbox.